Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're going to do it. Let's just, let's just do something. So we just use this with liquid white to hopefully ready this. I mean, my liquid white's so old, it's hard to, it's hard to tell nowadays. So let's just, maybe we'll just take some blue. Maybe I'll show you that too. Maybe that makes it funner. Leave a comment, let me know if that makes it funner to see the palette here. To see the palette. And I've got some blue on the brush. And shoot. We'll do both the corners first, just to make sure. We'll come back to them, make them even darker. But, oh, look at the liquid white. See how the color just slides. Slides off the brush, real easy. Thicker bit there, maybe we'll leave some open spaces, who knows? Do some circle shapes. Mm -hmm. Kind of sing a little bit. Sing a little bit. Do some skies. Boom. Oh, tripod. Tripod. Now, maybe that's maybe that's good. I mean, just whatever you feel like. Whatever you feel like. These blue skies are so simple. If you can't do this, I, I really don't think there's anybody. I can't do this. I mean, goodness. All right. This part, just try to keep it straight. But if you mess up, you know, if you accidentally get an uphill stroke, just come back across it. We're going to use this whole area for shadows, anyways. Just for nostalgia purposes. So, see where the paint didn't slide there? That's how you know there's not enough liquid white in certain spots. But if you push hard. All right, call that good. Now, I got a little bit of black up here. This is all mostly dry. I just put some fresh, fresh color on top of it. I'm gonna grab a touch of black. And then tap the blue into it. Shoot, that's barely, barely any. A little more. There we go. There we go. So we just got a little bit of black in there mixed with our blue. Anyways. And I just want to darken kind of a gray feel up into the top corners. Maybe a touch more. Just, just a little bit more and the bottom. Kind of wasting my time there, but you never know. You'll blend that in. Kind of soften all this. That gives us different values. I'm lightly coming across with this, not pushing real hard, because see that would cause another another paint area there. But that's okay. Just blend that away. Yeah, that's good enough for now. And let's take I haven't really done fan brush clouds in a while, so maybe. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just stir up some, some floaty little actions up there. Maybe. Always have them coming down in, so I'm going to make this one tall. We go up. 
in most of my paintings, I have this weird thing about having the clouds come from up here and come in and down here diagonally. So we need, we need to do something a little different this time. Maybe we'll just have it down. Softly floating up there, kind of a weird shape. Kind of a weird shape. And then maybe this guy's got one. He almost did it down the middle again. So maybe he's, maybe he's blended out there. Something like so. And then he's got another one. Comes down out here, something like that. See? See, and some stringy things, little floating guys. There we go. Just a nice sunny day with the blue sky, little clouds floating around real easy. And see, now we've got two of our brushes that are blue already. You can stop and clean the brushes if you like. I'm trying to trying to save your time here. Oh, what do we want? We want to, we'll just go back to the blue one. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna do some little circles. And we just come across those guys. Lift up on some of these, just blending. Maybe do some circles there. Under, in between these two. And should we keep that? I want to keep that how it is. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. And see any of these that you don't like, just blend them right away. Just they just disappear. Soft as you can doing this. All right, I think I like that. That's good. That's good. Now, shoot. Just, just gonna try to practice here. Take some of our black, midnight black that's mixed with the blue slightly. And maybe. Make a pyramid, like I always do. And then let's change it and round it off. There we go. And just get some color in there. I want to make them a little, a little taller over here. There we go. And see, because of the black, it should be a real gray, dark, dark gray color. There we go. Wipe off the knife. Go back to our big blue brush. Pull it straight down. Maybe make this side go the other direction. Actually, not straight down, at an angle. Pull it at an angle. And you can make it as flat as you want it to be. And then the bottom, we just soften and blend. There we go. Mm -hmm. And no 
liquid white there. All right, anyways. And this one we're not going to highlight. Not sure why. Because it's further in the background. And I was wrong about that. We are going to highlight it, but let's make like a gray. So I grabbed a tiny bit of white from here and I laid it over here. I'm going to grab some of that black. Mix it through with that white. Maybe you should. Maybe we need quite a bit more so we can actually put some actually put some paint on the canvas. I think that's one of my faults is I'm scared to use a lot of paint. There we go, I've got a nice gray color there. I'm gonna take that, float right on the edge. Not supposed to be on the back like that. Let me get that up there. So do a highlights on the left today. And there we go. And there we go. It's not really an intense highlight. It's just more of a, a subtle to let you know that it's back there, kind of. There we go. And then subtle. That peak's got some light on him, just barely, just barely. Shoot, we'll leave it like that. We'll leave it just like that. That's good enough. Super far away peak. Now, let's make a closer one. Grab some more black. And do do do. -do. Maybe he's a bit taller too. Shoot, he lives right up in our clouds there. Kind of comes, comes down this way as a edge there, there. And then, pardon my arm always being, being over there. I figured though if the camera was on the other side, I'd be blocking it with my, it's tough to tell. It's tough to tell. Now maybe he comes down. He's got a bump. Something like that. Maybe he comes down. He's got a bump. That comes down in front of the baby mountain. And we'll leave that. We'll let that be what we're looking for today. Big old, big old arm over here. Makes him strong. Didn't know mountains had arms. Bunch of, bunch of different little peaks here. See, it seems scary. It seems like you've made a huge mess, but really, made a beautiful masterpiece because it's all in the blending. It's all in the blending. This guy's steep, big old, big old mountain. Let's see, it comes out over there. Something like that. Cliffs. And this side it goes I want this center here to go both ways. And that goes right there. See, if this is on there too thick, that's why I was scraping it. Then it, you'll have way too much paint going on. Like right here is super dark. So watch how thick you have your, make sure to scrape it off before you start doing this. Shoot, let's just, let's just leave her like that. This gray color all the way across. Some more of it. 
Let's see, I'm put a little blue in the mountain. Sweet, sweet, and let's just keep going. Let's just keep going. All right, this guy is going to have a bit brighter, a bit brighter highlights. They're going to be just a straight up cliffs here. To me, that's just some straight up cliffs. I don't know what it looks like to you. I'm gonna put those little lines to make it look like cliffs. Oh, the video is getting glitchy. <laughs> there we go. Tap those out at the end. Remember the blending is really where it happens. You just throw, just throw some color on here. Hopefully it's not too glitchy. That'll be unfortunate, but heck. Can't control everything. Yeah. Yikes. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. Beautiful highlights right there. And a little bit on this guy. Shoom. He lives right over there. And that guy will get a tiny bit, but for the moment, there we go. And, and something like so. Now I want to add some blue, I'm going to take blue, into the white. All of it. Set it up here. There we go. Make a light blue, not quite pure. We'll see what it looks like. Yeah. It's terribly mixed on the palette, but this will this will create our shadow side. Really impossible to get it the way that you want it. Every time I'm like, dang it. That's not that's not what I was thinking there. It just kinda just kinda happens. Just kinda happens. Ooh, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful little shadow color area. Shoot, maybe it needs shadows up in here. Oh yeah. There we go. Got my fingers a little blue, but it's just fine. It's just fine. And now that we've got some of our shadow color in there, we can come back and finish our highlights. Finish our highlights. Ding. A little more white. Gonna need a little more white. All right. Ding. Perfect. Take that guy. See, it's not very tall either. It's only, it's only like a little. Maybe this peak. Mmm, perfect. See, see what that did? Added all kinds of depth and dimension. 
I think I'm going to leave that just to how it is. We'll just call it a minute. I think the only thing weird is the white doesn't quite I'll grab some white. There. 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 Wasn't quite going up to the top of it there. Had to make it look rocky. And maybe. I always get carried away. There and right up there. Yep. That. Just, I'm just muddy that right there. It's a little too bright. Now, I think we've got ourselves one hell of a peak. So, let's. Continue on. Just do some slight little tapping down here. That kind of fog, you know, gives it a misty, mistiness. Maybe even get a touch of white on the brush. Add to the mistiness effect. Oh, yeah. And just light as ever. See, this side's going that way. So we sweep it up that way. This side's going this way. So we sweep it up that way. Ooh, look at how soft that got in there. Nice and beautiful. Nice and beautiful. And since this brush is still mostly blue, there's a little disaster back there. Maybe take our fan brush and just touch it up. There we go. There we go. Do do do. Now, what do you think? Trees? Yeah. You gotta make trees eventually. Gotta make trees eventually. Dang, this table's getting all painted today. Today. So, shoot. Let's just use this fan brush. Let's just use this fan brush. I think I'm gonna need. I think I'm gonna need. Oh, Thalo. Thalo Green. It's one of my favorites. Put it up there by the black. A little bit. Sure, let's use some Van Dyke Brown. Use some Van Dyke Brown. Put that right there. And we'll see what we get. See what we get. We've got Van Dyke Brown. Yikes. Some Van Dyke Brown here in the middle. Some um, of Thalo Green right through that. Pick them up. Set them back down. Grab a chunk of blue. Put that through. What else? It's bright red down here. We'll save that for later though. We might. Might need that on something else. So we'll, let's see what color we got here. It's a brown, green, blue. It's probably close to a sap green, forest green kind of color. So just wipe the knife off. See, I like to pick it up, and then when you push down hard on the knife, whoosh, it gets it off the knife and it spreads it out on the palette. Might help you out. Shoot, poke somebody's. Poke somebody's trying this. Now, back to our fan brush. Right through all that mixture, whatever it is, we're about to find out. Wiggle, wiggle. 
And shoot. Nice. Nice. This brush keeps its shape much better than the last one. I think we'll go down. Let's shoot. Don't even think about it. Just, just maybe there's a forest over here. See? Instant forest. It's really got a lot of Thabo green in it. I'm surprised the brown and the blue have come through more. So you could put in your soft background. Really? This is down at the base of the mountain, so you can see through back there. It's nice and misty. Remember when you're reloading, wiggle. Wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. See, after you have the soft ones in there, you can come back and make some fence posts. <laughs> Kidding. We don't want it to look like fence posts. And for me, sometimes I have to reload every tree. So if that's what you're doing, that's okay. That's okay. Make this darker at the bottom. Angry with it. Maybe we'll have our our uh, distant point yeah. off into the distance. Something like right, right down there. Mm, see the light there? Nice and bright. Nice and bright, just continually reloading and wiggling. The wiggling sharpens it, so you get these, get these sharp guys. And we're just making a forest. There we go. Maybe we know that in the future, there's gonna be, there's gonna be a bigger, be a bigger tree over here something like that right and now see this goes up a little hill here see that a little hill and then it comes back down it's back down Down into that's a thick guy. See, so has that little trunk, trunk, chunk of dry paint. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Make a tree out of it, and then this comes right down, like so. And this just goes back into the distance there. I'm just lifting slightly up on these guys to give them an upward feel. There we go. Some color down here. Because that's going to be. bunch of foreground and I'm wanting to use the color here instead of wasting it it's a good way to clean the brush off now let's make let's make some mist so once again back to our blue brush here and hold it hold it strong here Really slam it.
Boom. Misty. There we go. Hmm. Painted my bracelet a little. Got these from Mystic. They're imprinted with frequencies that help uh, help blood oxygen levels and many other things. Now, now, that's so beautiful. I'm thinking that we're gonna have, shoot, let's just have a valley here. And our valley is gonna, gonna be flatter. It's gonna be something like that. Imagine this is grass. Put the dark in first. Have a nice valley. Ladder over here, it's got this curving kind of feel. And something just like that. Shoot. See, it seems like you've made the biggest mess. Let's find out how dried our yellow is. See, we had this yellow here from last time. Mm. Tap that. Shoot, I'm just gonna. Wow. We slammed our brush a bit. It's kind of, it's kind of lost its shape there. But yeah, let's just grab all. Woo, we even got some bright red in there. That'll give our grass a nice interesting feel before we grab more yellow here. Then we're going to take that, flip it over, and just going to tap some grass in there. There we go. Now, let's get some more yellow. This over here. Some more yellow. We want these to be nice, nice highlights. We'll keep that up. I know I'm going to need it. I know I'm going to need more of that. So get it to where when you're loading the brush, you tap it, it makes these kind of shapes. See if you can see that. See how the paint's kind of sticking to the brush when it comes back. It creates certain little textures on the brush. Hopefully we can get it to refocus here, but then those textures become grass. And all kinds of stuff. And when you lose the brightness of the color, you can do your dark areas. Also, keep that in mind. Don't kill all of your dark areas. Dang, it's still... Still not focusing. <laughs> uh, Joys of trying to record instead of just enjoying painting. And shoot, let's, let's call that good for now. You think? I think maybe shoot. Maybe we'll do a slight little orangish. Yeah, with the red there. Mm. Like that, dang it. It's not worth painting if you can't see it. <laughs> it's 
fuzz. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll stop right there and I'll be back once I fix the camera. In part two, if you got value, consider subscribing, smash the like button, leave me a comment, let you know, let me know what you think. Thank <laughs> you.